Um, I'm not 30, I'm 38, but I was 30 at one point, and before that I was 24. And I was in the shower, and soap was running down my body, and over my feet, and in the drain, and I just remember staring at this wet soap going down the drain and thinking, I have made a huge mistake. I had just moved in with my boyfriend of three months. Oh no. <laughs> but it gets worse because I had just moved out of another live-in relationship three months before that. So I was making very adult decisions. And part of the reason I had moved in with this new boyfriend, other than the fact that I was deeply in love with him, is that um, I was I had left my job uh, in DC. I had left my boyfriend. I had left my apartment, and I had moved into my parents' house in New Jersey. And uh, so my boyfriend asked me to move in with him, and I did. And it was great, you know. I, I got there with my five boxes, and he he took a Polaroid, and I had this just delighted uh, smile on my face, surprise, and it was all great until we had this fight when I was just about to get into the shower and he was about to go off to work. And we just had these fights, right? This was, this was one of, of many that started there and they would just be these crushing fights. And um, I can't remember exactly what that one was about, but you know, I had got this like sarcastic Jewish sense of humor where I just will say anything, no filter. And he has a lot of Catholic shame and guilt. And so uh, I probably had some big loud mouth comment and he probably overreacted. Um, but, you know, I, I was really in love with him and he just was changing my whole world. He changed the way I thought about things, just thought so differently than my family, than this other boyfriend I had. And I was beginning to really see things from his way. And so what happened was we'd have these fights and, and I would just, he would tell me why I was wrong and I would just take it all on and I would just beg for forgiveness. And you know, I wouldn't get it and, and it would just crush me and I would go to work and I'd barely be able to do anything. I'd just sit there and um, just do the bare minimum so I wouldn't get fired. Um, so this, this energy, this was really not good energy and I knew it, but I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't leave, um, you know. I was probably afraid of what my parents would say. So I, I stayed. And, um, you know, uh, when I first met my husband, we actually, we met on 9-11, that's a different story. Um, but, it, you know, I just, uh, I remember we had this moment of silence for the victims. Um, and uh, I was like, yes, I feel really sorry, but, but please, for the volunteer thing, God, can you put me with that guy? And uh, that's how we met. And, um, you know, so it, it, he was really, he was a great guy, really sweet, really warm, and um, he had just uh, gotten divorced and just become sober. And, you know, I was 24, I was a very social drinker, I still am, and, and I thought he had probably overreacted, you know, like, he, he had this uh, young child and... Um, you know, he maybe he just needed to cut back. Maybe he didn't really need to, to give it up completely. Because, you know, I wanted to go out and have a couple of drinks and hang out with friends. And uh, so as a complete enabler, from the start at Passover, I convinced him that he should just try a glass of wine, right? It's like a good idea. Uh, so he tries a glass of wine, and by the end of the night, he's completely drunk. And by the end of the week, we have a case of beer in our refrigerator. And um, I thought, well, that, you know, don't you think that's like moving a little fast? And he said, well, no, you're just a social drinker. You don't really understand these things. This is really, um, this is how, you know, most people drink. And I had come to just buy whatever he said. You know, I really had kind of given in to his way of thinking about so many things. And I was much younger. And I thought, well, he must be right. That, that must just be how it is. I had really always listened to my gut. Um, but I was finding more and more that I, I couldn't hear my gut, and I, I didn't really trust it anyway. Um, so by the time he asked me to marry him, uh, he was throwing up multiple times a day, um, and I, I said yes. And it was one of the saddest days of my life. But I really did love him, 
And a few weeks later, I asked him to get sober, and he did. And I thought, oh, well, you know, great. This is like, um, you know, lose five pounds, call your accountant, hand in the spreadsheet, get boyfriend sober, checked off the list, all done. Um, and what I didn't know about uh, addiction at that time is that it's not always those moments of, of getting high, of being in the drug that's, that's so problematic. It's all these other behaviors, right? It's, it's the lying, it's the manipulation. But on my end, it's also the nagging, the feeling like you have to fix someone, the high and mighty attitude, the road to hell paved with good intentions. And so we went back and forth for a long time. And um, we did eventually get to therapy. And um, for a while, things seemed like they were getting so much better. Um, I had actually, in all of this time, become so angry and was holding it in in my marriage so much that I let my anger come out in really horrible ways. I, I got fired from two jobs. We had two children by then. And I, I found that I yelled at them a lot. I mean, you yell at your kids, but I would be angry that he wasn't helping me with the diapers or not helping me put them to bed, and I would really take out my anger on the kids. I was really bad to customer service people. I don't know where uh, the other woman is, but I <laughs> hope you didn't get me um, So we worked on things, and for a while it seemed like things were getting better. We discovered spirituality. We, I became much more honest. Um, we discovered therapy. Um, but uh, it, eventually, those addictive behaviors um, came back. And not just the addiction, but the addictive behaviors. But this time, after doing a lot of work on myself, I was able to hear my gut. I thought that I had done all these changes to save my relationship with my husband. Um, but I found that, in the end, the relationship that I saved was with myself. And so after 14 years of being together, 10 years of marriage, three kids, and a lot of tears and love, this fall, I quit my marriage. <laughs>